Hey YouTube, good to see you, all my friends and families out there. Listen, today we are making Chicken Divan, the ultimate, wonderful, incredible comfort food. At least in my heart, it really truly is. I fell in love with Chicken Divan, oh my goodness, it was back in the 70s, 1978. Yeah, it was 1978, uh-huh, yeah, at the Magic Pan. You remember that restaurant, the Magic Pan? That was the best restaurant. I don't know why it went out. The food was so incredible. Yeah, it was a wonderful place, and they had these crepes, and they were called Chicken Van Crepes, and I ordered them every single time. They were just so good. So over the years, of course, there's been many different Chicken Van recipes, chicken with broccoli, um, all kinds of casseroles and dishes out there that are similar to the chicken divan back in the day, if you will. But the casserole that I have today, or the chicken divan dish that I'm making today, is so, so delicious and so easy and so close to that good old magic pan recipe. I am so happy you're here, and if you like today's uh, show. I hope that you will just give me a thumbs up. I need those thumbs up, guys. Please leave me a comment. Again, I truly, truly love your comments and I love responding to them. Tell me what's going on. Let me know what's happening. Let me know if this sounds like a good, good uh, little supper, perhaps that you might like to serve to your family or take to something special. Uh, and remember to ring that bell. Yeah, so that you know when I am uploading a video and I do upload them quite quite often. Thanks again for being here today. I'm going to turn you around in my kitchen and we're going to get started with Chicken Divan. very enough. <laughs> very, very easy. All right, we need some chicken, shredded cooked chicken right here. It's even frozen a little bit. I'd say this is about four cups of shredded uh, cooked chicken. You need two cups, two cans, excuse me, of cream of chicken soup. You need two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And you need a bag or two. I have one bag. Um, but if you have two, even better, of uh, broccoli. Go ahead and cook it or uh, get it in the steamer bags and throw it in your microwave, even better. Okay, a little bit of salt and pepper. You need some curry powder. Oh, curry powder sends this over the top. Do not leave that out. But darling, I hate curry powder. I don't care, put it in there anyway because you're gonna learn to love it. All right, here we have breadcrumbs, yummy breadcrumbs. We're gonna put those on top and then uh, some wonderful cheddar cheese. I know you all love shredded cheddar cheese. And some butter, you need a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and you know, that's pretty much it. Okay, so what are you gonna put it in? Nice big nine by 13 casserole. Yep, that works perfectly. However, today, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an itty bitty tiny casserole for two. This is for Lou and I for tonight for dinner. And then this little nine by nine foil pan right here, I'm gonna go ahead and make one in here too because my daughter-in-law is ready to pop uh, anytime now <laughs> with our 
with our little grandson and I'm trying to help her out so that when I make a dish, I'm gonna make two of them. So I can have one for us for dinner and one for her to put into the freezer so that her and my son Joey can have, um, you know, meals for a while. Okay, so um, I'm put these right in front of us, just like that. And I'm just gonna go and do them little by little. And we're gonna just have pile on top and pile on top. All right, so first we're gonna take our broccoli and I'm gonna put just a little bit in ours. I'm gonna say mostly uh, the broccoli, the rest of the broccoli for theirs. Cause theirs is so much bigger, just like that. But you can see if you had two bags of that, how it would work even better, okay? I feel like Lou and I are being a little cheated here in the broccoli, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> It's my grandson we're talking about. That's okay. All right, now we're gonna pile on some chicken. I'm just gonna put my hand in there, my nice clean hand, and I'm gonna put chicken right on top of it, just like this. We've not mixed anything together, not a thing. Okay, let me just press it down just a little bit, and I'll do the same thing over here with the other casserole. Now you can do the same thing. You can make two little nice foil nine by nine pans, and uh, I don't know, find a neighbor that might need some supper. Find some friends who might be feeling a little low. Send over some supper. Make up yourself a little uh, dump cake dessert. Can't get much easier than that. And, you know, you'll be doing something good for somebody else and that's what it's all about. All right, we put the rest of the chicken here in theirs. This may even last them two nights, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna put this in the sink. I baked two loaves of bread this morning, so my kitchen is kind of a little bit of a wreck right now. Um, you know what making bread does. But actually, it's not too bad. I've, I made bread so many times, so I kind of have it down to a little bit of a science here. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside just for a second. Actually, I do need that pan again. All right. All right, let's get out our chicken. Our cream of chicken. Ooh, I like when it does that. All right, let's see if this one will do the same thing. You know, it's funny. Um, I've said this before, but depending upon where you buy your cream of chicken and the brand name, sometimes some is creamier than others. Sometimes some plops out just like that, and sometimes you have to go in after it. And I had two cans here. They're both different brands and from different stores. And so, they both came out differently. All right, good. I'm gonna stir that up really, really well. Use my spatula. All right, oh, we had such a fantastic 4th of July. We had such a good time. Oh, we just celebrated all day long. Our fireworks were so much fun in the evening. How old grandson Everett, he just, Loved him. He was so tired, but he sat there and he just was so quiet. These great big eyes. He just loved it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I know what I forgot to get. I'm so sorry. You know, I just thought I was all something because <laughs> I remember everything, but no. Nope, not quite. All right. We need a cup of mayonnaise. How silly. And I'm just going to I'm gonna guesstimate. I pulled out a cup of mayonnaise so many times for recipes, but I think I can actually guesstimate it right now. And you know, if you have a little more mayonnaise than you need, that's okay. And if you have a little less than you need, well, you still got all that wonderful cream of chicken soup, so you're okay. Don't cry. All right, oh, there we go. Yeah, another busy day today. So yeah, I'm running on empty here. I'm having such a good time. I love being in my kitchen with you guys. You know it. I just love it. Yeah. Please leave me comments below. Make sure you press that like button. You know what? If, if you have noticed the number of my subscribers, you will notice that I am mighty, mighty close to a thousand subscribers and I am so excited. And to all of you, 985, I believe it is right now. Um, you know what? I really, I just love each and every one of you. I am so glad that you spend your time with me and you watch these videos and you give me thumbs up and you leave me some of the most beautiful comments. 
I, I'm just, I'm blown away, to tell you the truth. I'm just simply blown away. And I'm extremely grateful, extremely grateful for you. Um, pass the word. If you can share these videos on your social media of whatever type, if you're over on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like to go and do your thing with your socials, um, yeah, go ahead and do that for me. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family. Let's see if we can get uh, Super at 60 out of 1,000 subscribers. All right, we need two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. All right, and that's just what I'm putting in here. And I have just a wee tad bit um, left over, so I'm just going to throw it all in there because that's what we do here. Then mix that all up. Okay, sounds like my air conditioning just kicked off. That's good for my video. I hope it's okay for me. <laughs> I'm sweating up a storm again today. Oh boy, it's hot. You know, sometimes I have to go out there and water my garden in the morning and then I have to go out there and do it again at night. It's just, I guess because it's in that small kind of box thing and not really directly in the ground. So, you know, it's okay. I do not mind because I love being out there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my one cup measure and I am simply going to ladle out uh, what I need. And I'm just pouring it over my chicken because as it bakes, it will just pour down, seep down into the chicken, down to the broccoli, and as it goes down, it's gonna flavor every single piece of chicken, every single piece of broccoli, every layer will be touched by this creamy mixture. Hmm? All right. Now, I may come back and give that just a tad bit more, but let's go here first and see um, if we got enough here. Actually, I know I got enough, but I just want to make it nice and even. Okay, and be generous with this uh, with this mixture because you do not want a dry chicken to van. I, I just, I wouldn't even want to eat a dry chicken to van. No, that would not be good. And it's certainly not reminiscent of the chicken to van of the Magic Pan. I guess that rhymes, huh? All right, put a little bit more over here. Okay, and then the last thing that I really, really just have to do is scrape every bit off, because I am very thrifty in the kitchen. Okay. And there's a little bit in the bowl here that I'm gonna take out and put in here. And then let's give it a last spread. Just kind of push it down. Again, you can make this in a nine by 13 for a large group, for a large family. You cannot go bad with this recipe. But wait, you forgot the curry powder. Well, yes, I did. <laughs> How nice of you to point that out. Actually, that is just fine. I'm gonna put it on top anyway, because I like the look of it. That pretty golden color. Yeah. All right, just swirl it around. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. You can tell already how creamy uh, it's gonna be. All right, you need a half a teaspoon of curry powder. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sprinkle. Because a half a teaspoon is not all that much. So let's just sprinkle it on. Oh, the smell. Please. Please don't leave this out. If you don't like curry, give it another try. I love curry powder, so I'm gonna put a lot on. And Sonia is uh, of Indian descent. And of course, curry is like one of their national spices. So she will love this. In fact, I think I served this dish at her, at their uh, anniversary, at their, um, engagement party. I had her family over here and we all sat in the dining room. It was all fixed it all fancy. And I needed to find something that her folks would like and that we would like. And that was chicken in a van. All right, 
this. I will spread this around just a wee bit. And that will go down into the veggie and the chicken layer as well. So I'm really not worried at all. But yes, I did forget it. I did. I'll own that. Okay, I'm gonna do this side just the same. You know, there is nothing more heartbreaking than finishing a dish, getting it out of the oven, getting ready to serve it, and you look over on your counter and you see that uh, one ingredient sitting there and you're going, oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me I did not put that in there. Well, yeah, you did. And there's nothing you can do. At one point, there is nothing you can do about it. So you just go with it. You know, I meant to do that. Well, I do anyway. Just, you know, just go with it. Nobody's going to know. If you serve this with rice, make a curried rice. Okay? Hey. There's always a way. Curried and buttered noodles. Whatever you want to serve it. I love this served with noodles. And I love it served with rice. So, you know, either way is fine. I think this served over riced um, cauliflower, even though there's broccoli in here, another vegetable is not gonna hurt you guys. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I am trying to cut the carbs. I really am. I'm trying so hard. It is so, so difficult. And the next recipe I wanna make for you, <laughs> I have to find a home for these recipes before I start them or um, Darlene's in a lot of trouble. So yeah, I need to find a home and then I'll make it. <laughs> that sounds so silly. Find a home for that recipe. All right, here we go. Okay, oh boy, that curry. I'm telling you, smells awfully good. Okay, so now what am I gonna do? I'm going to, um, Let's top with, I'm gonna top with the cheddar right now. You all see this? I have just scooted everybody out of place here so much that you're not even in the camera anymore, pass roll. All right, now just take a handful of this nice, wonderful shredded cheddar. I think I have a mild. Yeah, mild is probably best here because, because of the curry, you really want that flavor to just shine through. All right, I'm gonna put some over on ours for tonight. I cannot wait to eat this. I can't wait. Ugh. I'm gonna wait for Lou to come home first. Okay. There we go, just press it down very lightly. Now you're gonna bake this on covered. Now if this were one solid nine by 13, you would bake it for about 45 minutes. You know, when I, when I put things in the oven and they have to go in for 45 minutes and there's cheese involved, I really, really like to cover my dish first. So even though the recipe says leave a bake uncovered, I am going to just lightly tent um, ours, even ours. And then when that cheese is melted and it feels, you know, like it's probably hot enough, um, then I will go ahead and um, take the top off and just let it get nice and browned. Okay, these are panko breadcrumbs and I am going to just sprinkle, sprinkle right on the top. Okay, just like that. You don't need a big mess of these, especially if you are watching your carbs. And you know, you can just leave these off totally. But I like to use breadcrumbs particularly when I'm freezing a dish because it really um, helps from things from sticking to the foil. But I do spray the foil too as well, so that's helpful. Whatever you can do to help that uh, situation from happening, the better. Okay, very good. And the last thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of butter and I'm just gonna dot the top so that when the butter melts, it's going to seep into the breadcrumbs and it's gonna uh, help those breadcrumbs get brown and toasty. If you want to melt the butter first and then gently pour it over the top, do not drown the top. So that's not what they are, the intention is here. Just 
just be a little careful with that. I find just dotting it like this works perfect every time. Oh, I wish I had a penny for every time I have made this casserole uh, over the years, since the 1980s. I think it comes out of an old school cookbook where my mom and I used to work uh, here in Northern Virginia. And it's just been wonderful. And every time I taste it, I think of my wonderful times spent at the chicken divan. I mean, at the magic pan, eating the chicken divan. All right, there we go. Two wonderful chicken divan casseroles, one for us tonight, one to put in the freezer, and that's it. All right, I'm going to put my uh, small little casserole here into the oven at 350 degrees tented. You know what it means when I say tented? It means get a little piece of foil and do not just cover it tightly like that. Just leave it up high and very carefully tuck under the edges while you have um, a little bit of a bump here. Okay? And that's how you want to put it into the oven for about 10 minutes. That's what I'm going to do with this one because it's so small. I don't know. It's like, what, five? Five by eight? Maybe something like that. Not even eight. Five by seven? Yeah, I'd say five by seven. It's just a wee little pan. I have two or three, maybe even four of these. And I do use them quite often. It's the perfect, perfect size for two, even for one, actually. Then after about 15 minutes, I will take the top off just really to make sure that the chicken is seamed under there and nice and cooked. And um, just to make sure that the top is in it nice and lightly browned, the cheese and the breadcrumbs. All right, I'll be back and let you take a look at it. Much for stopping by my kitchen today. I gotta hurry now and get my counter cleaned off so that when my husband comes flying through that garage door any second with arms full of groceries, we'll have somewhere to put them down so I can put them all away for him. Thank you again for joining me. Hey, if you liked today's video, make sure you press that like button. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't done so already and press that little bell so when you get all the notifications, okay? And uh, hey, remember, we're almost to a thousand, so I need you to tell your friends, tell your family, share it on your social media sites, and let's get Super 60 up to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Lord bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you all guys again really, really soon. Bye now.